Yo, what's up guys? I'm Jack Doherty and this is my crib. Here we go again. Big body bench. Cut off all my friends. Uh, I guess cribs tour because I just copped the neighbor's house right next door. Five by seven, two, two, threes. We always go through a car door. All the houses paid off. I'm gonna do a tour of both cribs, a uh, car collection tour, watch collection tour, all that in this video. I'm excited. So I actually call this crib the cash crib after my dog. This house is 10 bedrooms, 10 bathrooms, about 7,000 square feet. And there's a two bedroom guest house as well. Come on in guys, let me invite y'all into my crib. One other thing that's really cool about this house is we got a koi pond on this side and on this side. Cash, where are the fish at? Go get him. Where is he, Cash? <laughs> yeah, that's so cool having fish literally at your front door. But now it's time to go inside. Right when you walk in, you're greeted by this huge living room slash kitchen area. This is where a lot of the people hang out when they come over. And this is where we do a lot of the streams and everything. And if you look over here, we got the famous cash crib sign. So we got this blue sign because I love blue. It's my favorite color. And that's where we watch a lot of the streams and YouTube videos back, you know, after a nice day of filming. Someone's trying to hide. See what's behind these doors. Oh, hey, are you stuck? No, I'm kidding. What's going on back here? You don't speak much when the cameras are on. She has everything to say when the cameras are up. No, I'm kidding. You're so shy when it comes to the cameras on. We gotta put the cameras on a lot more when she's here. But yeah, this is the laundry room and there's also a bedroom and a bathroom back there where my parents normally stay when they come visit me. But now that I got the neighbor's house right next door, they don't gotta stay in it anymore. They can stay in their own freaking house. Kind of cool. But yeah, when you walk into the crib, you see this little dining room area. And then over here, it's kind of a mess because no one likes to open their packages in the house, including me. A lot of these are probably for me. Loki the maid opens all my packages because I'll never get around to it. It's pretty we have a printer? There was a printer, guys. I haven't seen one of those since high school. As if it was like a long time ago. Then we have the big movie theater, which I don't think anyone has ever used since we moved in here. We've lived here for like four months. You can even see my car through the window. Great view, right, Cash? Uh -huh. Every room has like its own balcony too. Cash, you like it out there, buddy? Where are you going, Cash? Yeah, he's a little goofy goober. Then we got a little half bathroom right behind me. One of the 10 bathrooms, you know, I always used to sing the Polo G song. Johnny like 10 bathrooms up in my next house. So play that song real quick, let's get lit. Johnny like 10 bathrooms. Sorry, that's actually a bad thing because you got 10 bathrooms to clean, I'm so sorry. No, okay. Tell him how clean I am compared to everyone else in the house. Please me. As clean as me. It's pretty clean. Pretty clean. All right guys, well, I'm the cleanest person in the house. Lucky, how you doing? Everyone's hiding. Get over here. Let me pat you down real quick. Pat me down, pat me down. That is the best bodyguard in the world, Lucky. Literally the most nicest, kindest man. Has such a big heart and he uh, takes care of my life. I wouldn't be alive if it wasn't for this man right here. I swear to God, you're the most challenging client I've ever had in my whole life. I'm sorry. Initially, I was like, who the f is this kid? Your like, worst nightmare. No, I'm kidding. You challenged my career more than anybody. And I've been in this game almost 20 years, but the funnest client I've ever had and the most authentic off camera. Nicest person ever, but you would not know him unless you know him. Oh I appreciate God. that. Lucky the best. Longest security guard I've ever had. You know, he's a, he's lasted longer than anybody. So I mean, he's hitting records out here. We made our way upstairs. This is the view we got from up here. We got a little balcony view, you know. We can make a little Titanic scene over here. But yeah, if you come over here, ah, they're locked, so we can't go in there. There was a ping pong slash pool table here, but I took it out because I'm actually replacing it with this custom $10,000 table. I got a custom wood table that says Cash Crib on there. It got the LV logo on it. It's so cool. It should be here any day now. All right, we got the garage right over here. This is where I keep some of my toys. I got the big Bugatti scooter yard. You know I copped the Bugatti. I got this little quad right here and then my Honda dirt bike. I actually just bought these both brand new. They're really fun to ride around the property because we actually have two and a half acres. And then with the neighbor's house as well that I just got, that's another two and a half acres. So we have five acres total to ride around on, which is pretty sick. That's been my dream since I was a kid to have a house like this and be able to ride around dirt bikes and quads with my family and have fun. It's really what life's about, you know, having fun with the people that you're around and care about you, you know? All the haters, all that stuff don't matter. But yeah, this is my little garage tour. And then we got my two Lambos outside of my McLaren, which we will get into uh, right when it stops raining. All right, now it's time to show you guys the backyard right this way. Normally it's a lot sunnier and prettier out here, but we have a lot of pool parties back here and stuff. And we go in the hot tub a lot. It's really fun. I think I've only been in the pool like one time, but I'm not much of a pool guy. But one of my favorite things about this house is I've always wanted like an ultra modern Minecraft looking house ever since I was a kid. And now that I finally got that, I feel complete, you know, and I'm only 20 years old, but this is a direct result of hard work, guys. Obviously I wouldn't have anything I have if I don't work all day, every day. I got to outwork my competition and that's why I have what I have, you know, nothing gets handed to you in life. 
I've been doing this for over eight years now and over the past two, three years, it's finally started to really pay off and I'm able to live the life I've always wanted to live and I'm really grateful for that. Like no flexing, no bragging, just straight up. It's hard work and a lot of people hate on me because I have money and I show that I have money. But one thing people don't understand is I'm not just gonna buy two Lambos and a McLaren and not show them online. I'm not flexing, I'm just getting my money's worth. I bought the cars for content. A lot of people love the cars. It's really just an investment, but a lot of people like to use my wealth against me and say I'm a brat, blah, blah, blah. But if you talk to anyone around me, if you really got to know me, you would know I'm not like that. I wouldn't have what I have in life if that's how I treat the people around me. But some people, you know, they gotta make up a bunch of things and say a bunch of things to help cope with the fact that they're not in my place. At the end of the day, a lot of hate is driven by jealousy. People are entitled to have their own opinions in life, but I wouldn't be where I'm at today if I let everything get to me. Yeah, I lived in Florida for about two years now. I've gone through like three or four or five houses. I don't even know at this point, but every time I've literally just taken it up a notch and this is by far my favorite house. I don't know what he's doing in there, but we got a little guest house over here. What up, bud? Welcome to the crib. What are you doing? Um, I'm getting ready to go home. Yes, guys, this is where some of my filmers live at. It's a two bedroom guest house, three bedrooms now. We had a makeshift bedroom, you know? Bedroom number one of the guest house and bedroom number two of the guest house. And it even has its own kitchen so you guys can like never cook, right? I make eggs. Oh, cool. Nice. This is the little makeshift bedroom you're we talking about. One of my filmers insisted on sleeping in here, so I was like, all right. It wasn't the weirdest request I've had though. I've had a friend ask if they can sleep in my horse stables. No, <laughs> that was just inhumane. And then this is the bathroom of the guest house. One thing I absolutely love about this house is how much parking there is because I always have a lot of people over. Sometimes there's like 20, 30, 40 cars. And at my other houses, there's like never a place to park them all. But in this house, we have plenty of room for parking. It's crazy. Wee! I got this $3,000 basketball hoop. It's literally like an NBA basketball hoop. I love it. It sounds different when you, you know hit the backboard in the rim and stuff. Hopefully I make this shot. Don't want to embarrass myself. Oh, let's go, baby. Did you get that? Ooh. Guys, I just freaking swished it backwards. I'm a god. But one thing I'm even better at is hockey. I started doing social media when I was about 10 years old and I started posting hockey videos every single day. I had an account called instant.hockey. I would post hockey trick shots every day consistently for like a year or two straight. And that's what led me into doing YouTube. So I came back to my roots. Now I finally have my own hockey set up in my own house. This is my dream. At one point I wanted to be a professional hockey player. I'm actually like good at hockey though. I played my whole life. Look at that. I'm sweating. Oh wait, I got a golf cart too, guys. No, I stick. What happened? What? Where? Help! All right, guys, so my first whip is my 2024 Tesla Model X Plaid. I have five cars, my Tesla Model X Plaid, I got the Sprinter van, then I got two Lamborghinis and a McLaren. I'm gonna show you guys my over $1 million car collection. I bought this Tesla for 135K around a year ago. Butterfly does go up in the Tesla. But yeah, this is the fastest car I own. It goes zero to 60 in like 1.9 seconds or something crazy like that, but I never use it a lot. It has like 4,000 miles on it. This is my custom Sprinter van. It has a full custom interior. I waited about a week to get this because I bought it in LA and had ship all the way to Miami. And then I had to wait another week for it to get wrapped, but I love this vehicle. I probably use this car more than all the other cars because I just put my feet up, take my phone out and get some work done while I drive around. But yeah, I love this car because it can fit everybody and we can all just go to one place in the same vehicle. And it's just way more convenient. This Sprinter van costed the same amount as my Tesla Model X. It was 135K, but it was worth every dollar to me because I'm able to get a lot of work done while I'm driving in this thing. And it also has a nice TV right there. But I just like blasting little baby. One thing that's cool about the Sprinter is it has curtains, but we never really use them because the windows are already so tinted. But that's basically it for the Sprinter van. I would say the best 135K that I've ever spent. All right, you wanna hop on? All right, guys, now we're gonna drive over to my other cars. The three cars I'm sure everyone really cares about the most. So I'll give you guys a little tour of my million dollar car collection at 20 years old. Here we are. I literally haven't drove any of these cars in like two or three weeks because I've been away and traveling and I don't get good use out of these cars. I wanna sell them. Don't buy expensive ass toys. You'll never be able to get rid of them and you'll never drive them as much as you think you do. But they look cool in your driveway. All right, so I got all the keys right here. I keep air tags on all of them because I lose it so much. But yeah, this was the first Lamborghini I ever bought, the first supercar I ever bought. A lot of people know this car. It's actually a famous car because literally two weeks after I bought it, my whole entire house flooded. It's got nothing we can do. But fortunately, I was able to save it. It almost got totaled. This Lamborghini was literally underwater, which is so crazy to think about. That'll help segue to the McLaren because that's the only reason I bought the McLaren. So while this was getting fixed, I bought the McLaren. But first, let me show you all this car. 
I bought this car when I was 19 years old about a year ago and I bought it for 365k I think if I wanted to sell the car I could probably get like 200 and something if I'm lucky cars depreciate don't buy depreciating assets kids luckily I own over 20 houses so I'll be good I'm not just an idiot guys I own a lot of real estate it's not like I just blow all my money on clothes and toys and watches and stuff you know I have a lot of investments but the second supercar I bought was literally less than a month after I bought my Lamborghini my Lamborghini got flooded I had to replace the whole entire interior so while they were doing that I ended up just buying a McLaren in cash as well but yeah I spent 365k cash on the first Lambo and then another 205k cash on this McLaren. I put like 40k into it. It's super loud. It spits flames. All my cars have underglow. And this one is custom painted by Artlana. Literally the first time he threw paint on it, he stepped right here and just absolutely destroyed my carbon fiber, uh, whatever the fudge is called. Someone stepped on the front thing and it snapped. So the carbon fiber broke, but uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. But yeah, that was insane. I had to spend $4,000 getting it fixed, which uh, sucked, but I don't want this car anymore. I'm trying to sell it. So if there's any buyers, let me know. That thing is loud. But yeah, I bought this McLaren extremely impulsively. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of regret it because it's appreciated a lot in value. I put a lot of money into it and I never freaking drive it. I don't have time to drive any of these cars because I'm either in the Sprinter van getting driven around by my security guards or I'm just at home getting work done here and I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, I gotta get rid of these cars soon. But this is my favorite car, my most recent purchase. This is a Lamborghini Urus. I had two two-seater supercars and I was like, fudge, no one gets to enjoy these cars with me besides me and my girlfriend. So then I ended up buying the Lamborghini Urus. I bought this car for $400,000 cash two days after Christmas. It was the last tax write-off I got of the year. So I got to deduct this off my taxes because it's a company vehicle. It weighs 6,000 pounds. I owed a couple hundred thousand dollars less in taxes because I bought this car. So it's actually a smart purchase. I actually just got this back from Lamborghini as well. I was in LA last week and while I was in LA, they put stars in the roof. I've always wanted freaking stars in the roof. So let me give you all a little stars in the roof tour. You know, shooting stars, guys. Room, room. Right. I've learned that it's not good for the car to do that and you just started or haven't driven it for weeks. And I actually bought that golf cart before I had the Urus. So I had four blue cars and the blue golf cart. So my whole fleet was blue, but then I got the Urus and ruined it all. But you know, it's all right. But yeah, this car I bought for 360K. This car I bought for 400K. That car I bought for 210. So that is almost $1.3 million worth of cars. If you count my Tesla and my Sprinter van. I just realized I'm an idiot and blew $1.3 million on cars. And if I were to sell them all today, at most I'd probably get like on a good day, a million dollars on a bad day, 800K. But yeah, $1.3 million bought on cars. Another $1 million I blew would probably be on watches. I have a $1 million watch collection as well, guys. So I'll show you that in just a second. All right, before we get into my master bedroom, I'm gonna show you guys my little office setup I got here. So we got a little sky bridge over here. And you can also see the new house I just got, which is right next door. Literally couldn't be any closer. So I'm gonna show you guys that whole entire house right after this. But yeah, guys, this is my office. You get a lot of stuff done in here. This is where all the team meetings go down. If you guys don't know, I literally have probably like 50 employees at this point. I have about like 10 that work with me in person almost every day. We even have a little podcast set up. So when we run like little podcast clips and stuff like that, we do that like right here. But yeah, this is like a little guest house. It's right above the garage and it even has its own bedroom. So like when my parents come into town again, they can stay here. This is the bathroom in the guest house. There's two guest houses in this house. It was just freaking crazy. And then we got the whiteboard, you know, which is where we jot down a bunch of our ideas in the office. A lot of hard work happened. Here, you know? One moment. Let's try to clean it up a little bit, my bad. But yeah, guys, this is my bedroom. Ugh. Me and McKinley actually share the room. You can tell by that girly looking dresser in the corner. I tell her all the time, my room looks like a freaking girl's room. Oh, bet you didn't see all 300 of my primes right now, guys. I'm not even sponsored by them. They should pay me, but I literally love prime. I literally drink it every day. I got that new UFC flavor, baby. What up? Mm. Sometimes I like to match my prime to my outfit. So like for instance today, I know I'm wearing blue. I'm rocking with the blue prime dog. What up? I'm the type switch my watch up every time I change moves. I love Polo G too. Lil Baby's my favorite. And then this is the little view I get from my balcony. Florida, huh? I was trying to do this house tour, guys, and now it's raining on me. All right, now if you come over here, this is my bathroom slash closet area. I also got a little workstation in here because for some reason I spent a lot of time in the bathroom slash closet. I don't know why I spent a lot of time in the closet. <laughs> Sorry. But uh, I actually do get a lot of work done here. Got some stuff, you know, I got to do right now. I have 50 employees, but your boy Jack be going through iMovie right now, sending videos out to the editors. No one will ever stop me. No one can stop me. I feel like the greatest. <laughs> oh, sorry, Cash, I didn't see you back there. My dog loves me so much. He literally never leaves me alone, but I love that about him. He's always right under my feet, right by my side. That's why the crib's named after you, bro. And for those of you guys that don't know, my middle name is Cash. That's why I named my dog Cash. It's not because I'm rich or anything. Nah, I'm kidding. But like, it's really because my name's Cash, so it means something to me. It has nothing to do with money. Yeah, that's where I got a shower. 
shower. I be showering in here every morning. And I love the shower because it has two big shower heads. So me and my girlfriend can make a spicy content together. No, and then it shoots at you from both sides, shoots at you from here, from up there. And it's all controlled by a freaking iPad. There's two iPads on the wall, which is really cool. And one thing I never use is that tub. Waste of space. Oh, for those of you guys that don't know, I pay $55,000 a month for this house. And the only reason it's worth it is because I, ooh, I gotta flush that, <laughs> sorry. But as I was saying, it literally has a remote so I can flush it, have it shoot water out my butt or into my butt. Should we see if it shoots water? Yeah, it probably does. The toilet's smarter than me, guys. But I love that freaking iPad toilet. And then, shout out to my girlfriend McKinley for helping this closet, you know, come true because I have all my t-shirts color coordinated right now. Tell me that it's not hard as fudge. These are all my shoes. I literally have, let's see, two, four, six, eight, ten pairs of Louis Vuitton sneakers. I freaking love Louis Vuitton sneakers, but I barely ever wear them. Like, all these shoes except these two are unworn. Like, literally half my shirts have the freaking tag on them still. I just don't like wearing new clothes. I don't like ruining stuff. I'm a weirdo. But I have so many clothes. Look, if you come over here, I have a lot more clothes, bro. It's crazy. It's out of control. And this is literally all just designer clothes but yeah the other day i was at louis vuitton i was buying something they typed my phone number into it and i looked at the lady's phone and it showed how much i spent in the past year it said fifty thousand dollars and then in total it showed over seventy thousand dollars which is just crazy so i gotta stop spending money at louis vuitton and on clothes in general because one day i'm probably not gonna wear all these colors i just wear a ton of colors because gotta pop out in my videos you know i'll also give you a tour of my one million dollar watch collection the watches are on their way here right now because i have another place where i keep them at little baby says something about the spot where you lay at oh gotta keep a stash spot connect um, let me look for the lyrics. Lil Baby says this, and I quote, Keep a stash house, you can't take nothing to the spot where you lay at. Let's go. What happened? I love you too, man, for real. Hey, we the only ones in the crib right now. We hold it in this down. So is Cash. Look at this guy. He's always on point. All right, guys, this is my $1 million watch collection. I have over a million dollars in cars and about a million dollars in watches, but I think I cherish these watches more than my cars. This right here was actually my first ever watch. I feel like everyone gets a bust down to start with. Like once you start getting money for the first time, everyone always gets a freaking bust down Rolex or something like that. But yeah, I bought this watch when I was 18 years old for I think like $26,000 or something. Probably got scammed a little bit because I realized the jewelers get you. You know, these watches are only like probably 20K and under realistically, but everyone's got to get got on their first watch. Am I right? But then once you start getting more and more money, you kind of move up in class, you know, you get the more classier watches. The second watch I got was this AP right here. I bought this one for $45,000. Pretty simple AP right there. Automop baguette. And then my third watch was this Batman Rolex right here. It was my second Rolex I bought. It matched my McLaren when I first got it. My McLaren looked like the Batmobile, so I was like, yo, I gotta do this. But I haven't worn this watch and this watch in literally months, like maybe over six, seven months. I'm never wearing this one ever again. I haven't worn this one in like maybe nine months because it just looks dumb. This is such new money. Anyone I see with a freaking bust down watch on, I know they don't really got it like that and most of the time they're freaking fake so onto the fourth watch i bought it's this rose gold presidential 50th anniversary chocolate dial with a diamond bezel that's a lot of words but yeah i bought this one for seventy-five thousand dollars. this is a really nice watch probably one of my favorites very classy you know i get a lot of compliments from older gentlemen when i wear this watch but then onto my two favorite watches gotta be both of my richard mills i have two richard millies richard millie costs a quarter milli i got more than one this watch i bought for a quarter million dollars this was the first richard mill i bought this is an rm30 and it's actually one of 30 as well they've only made 30 of these watches and I got one of them. So it's pretty cool and it's blue matches me. But then I got this watch for free as a gift for doing a deal with this company. I'm not gonna say which company it is cause I don't think I'm allowed to say it. I literally took this right off the guy's wrist when I made the deal. He's like, what do you want for this? I was like, the watch off your wrist and we locked in the deal. So this watch will run you about 140, $150,000. So just these two watches alone is over $400,000. Got a paddock too, guys. This paddock was about 120 K and I bought this at timepiece trading. I bought all my watches at timepiece trading. Best place to go to. I freaking love Neil timepiece trading. Go get your watches from there. But yeah, guys, that is my $1 million watch collection. I don't think it's a million dollars yet, but I got a bunch of jewelry, like diamond chains and stuff. This is a $200,000 chain and I got another one. So it all adds up to a little over a million dollars. But yeah, guys, don't blow your money on jewelry, buy more houses and stuff. This is all a waste of money at the end of the day, but it's another way for me to hold my value. I love watches. I literally got one watch for every single day of the week. I switch my watch up every time I change moves. She just had to get excited because you made the shade room. What's your favorite? My favorite watch, it's gotta be this one because it's blue. It's also my most expensive watch. And uh, it was the first Richard Mill I bought. This was the biggest decision I've ever made in my life. You know, spending $250,000 on a watch. Not the smartest decision I've ever made, but it looks cool on my wrist, don't it? 
<laughs> but yeah, guys, that finalizes my watch tour collection. I've never done one of those before. I don't think anyone really knows I got seven different watches. But I'm not saying it to flex or brag. You know, I've been building up that collection for the past two years. Hard work every single day. Use me as motivation to be where you want to be at in life, you know? One last thing I want to tell you guys about was every time I buy a watch, I make sure I walk out with something else. So when I bought my Richard Mill, I got this free Richard Mill carpet. I took it right off the floor of the wash place. And then also when I got my paddock, I took this picture as well because I was like, oh my fudge. This is an exact replica of my paddock. So I was like, yo, I need to have this as well. And then one day for Christmas, I came in and I bought seven Rolexes for all my friends and family. And I got two diamond chains as well for them. I walked out spending like 200 grand. So he gave me this $4,000 bear brick, which is really cool. But yeah, I make sure I walk out with something extra every time I spend a bag. And literally when I bought my first Lambo, I took the stapler gun, the pencils, the pens off the freaking salesman's desk. At least I got something. Also, I probably wouldn't have all these watches, cars, and jewelry and stuff if I didn't listen to so much Lil Baby. If you know me, you would know that I'm obsessed with Lil Baby. And Lil Baby raps so much about paddocks, Rolexes, Richard Mills. So I bought them all so I could sing along with Lil Baby. My playlist is literally called Lil Baby Daddy. It's only Lil Baby songs. Whole freaking playlist. All I listen to all day long. I'm addicted. But it gets me motivated. It keeps me going. They just want to buy stuff like this. So I'm like, how do I buy stuff like this? I have to make more money. So what do I do? I grind. I work hard. And I keep going until I got a quarter million dollars on my wrist. I'm going Hand me all you want. I make so many sacrifices to get out where I'm at in life, bro. My life ain't even easier than it was years ago when I had less money and less problems, bro. More money, more problems. But guess what? It shaped me into the man I am today. I'll keep going no matter what, and I'll never freaking stop. And guess what? No one's stopping me. I just copped a crib next door. Let's go give you all a tour. For those of you that don't know me, I am insane. I have unlimited energy, and I am a crib head, and I will never stop. I grind all day, every day, and that's what freaking life's about. Rob, I dare. Oh, hey. Hi. <laughs> Is this for me? So, yes. It's a nice little Chrome Hearts t-shirt. I sure don't. All right, guys, now it's time to show you my other house, which I literally just got yesterday. McKinley's parents are currently staying in it right now, right? They are. Yes, they're having a good time. We got a long walk. Yeah. Where are these guys? What the f Who are these people at the gate, dog? What the fudge? What's good? Wait, what, what are y'all doing here? You can't just pull up like that, you know? I'm not just gonna be like, yo, let's stream right now. Oh, what do you mean? Sometimes I gotta do other stuff. I'm filming a YouTube video right now, though. Yo, what's good? I saw you guys on Aiden Ross's stream, though. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yo, is that the guy with the fake uh, watch? <laughs> is it real AP? Let me see, let me see. Dude, what the fudge even is that? Wait, let me see your watch again, bro. There's not even. Bro, what the fudge? Let me see that. It don't, it don't even say AP on it, bro. 70 grand, you got Yo, scammed then. I think you like, I think you saw one of my videos before on like TikTok or some shit, like the screaming and bad. I've, see, I've seen him before. Yeah, yeah. No, you commented on my shit one time. I probably look a little different. How old are you? 17. Oh, damn, how old are you? How old are you? Jeez. Y'all gotta go. You guys are minors. Can't be having none of those on the property. No, no, he's not actually yeah, no. Now he's a capper. Ah, uh, that's what they all say. Hey, hey, real shit, bro. We should RO stream some shit tonight, bro. Like some entertaining. I'm down, but I'm just busy tonight. I have a bunch of meetings I gotta go to tonight. I have a call with Kick tonight, so I can't stream. I gotta call Kick. I gotta figure it out. They gotta give me more money. No, I'm kidding. I saw it somewhere. No, yeah. Because you called your friend out for having a fake watch. You put your friend down to make you look good. No, you can't be really. doing that in life, bro. You gotta have your friends back. If one of my friends says some crazy shit about me and put me down in front of a whole live stream, I wouldn't smack the f out of him. I would just be like, yo, that's not cool. Like, you're not a real friend. He ain't a real friend, dog. Nah, no, I'm kidding. He's probably just trolling, though. You're funny. I get it. I get it. But, um, what's your Instagram? All right, follow you back. Appreciate it's nice it, meeting you guys. Nice meeting you. Hit me with the ball back? Huh? Tell him to DM it to me. Catch you guys. Guys, so that's kind of the stuff that just randomly happens here. Like, we just had random fans pull up to the house as I was trying to leave my property to show you the other property I just got. A little day in the life, you know, that stuff happens every day. My security guard just called my filmer and was just like, yo, be careful, there are these kids at the gate because he knew we were about to leave. But, uh, you know what I got on me now, dog? No, I'm kidding, but now it's time to hop into the golf cart and go over to the second house. Short little drive over to the neighbor's house. It's so cool. Like, this has always been my dream to have two houses right next door to each other. All right, so house number two. Hey, Jack. How's everyone doing? Great, Harry. Sorry to intrude. I'm glad everyone, you know, he's using the house. But yeah, this house is seven bedrooms and I think like three or four bathrooms. I don't know. But we literally just got it yesterday, so I've only been in here like once. Has a very lovely pool table slash like little game room over here. Bedroom number one. And then there's bedroom number two, which has a creepily good view of my backyard in my house. So kind of creepy, but it's all right. Bedroom number three, but uh, someone's in there right now. Got the kitchen over here, dining room area, another dining room area, and then the living room, which McKinley's families are living in. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then we got bedroom number four, bedroom number five, 
bedroom number six and bedroom number seven. But my favorite part about this house has to be the backyard. Look at this, there's so much freaking room for activities back here. What more can you ask for, am I right? What is that? Are those real? Yo, what the fudge? I want those, how do we get pets like that? Hey guys, over here. Isn't that crazy, they're showing someone's property? Mind blowing, you know, they have a cool house too. Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from smoking in the hallway. Now we got shows, boys feeling like Broadway. Always look both ways, even on a crossway. Driving down Cross Bay, our town park lays. Really on big tanks, came up with smoke. All right, guys, that concludes the Cash Crib MTV Cribs tour. Both of my houses. But yeah, one thing I want to say is none of this stuff is to flex or brag in any way possible. I just want to show you guys what I was able to accomplish at 20 years old. And if I can do it, you can do it too. All you got to do is believe in yourself, invest in yourself, and don't let what anybody says get to you. Yeah, guys, there's so much I can say. I can blab on forever. But at the end of the day, work harder than everybody else around you, and I promise you, you'll be more successful. I'm very blessed to have what I have in life. And I want to say thank you to everyone that watches my videos and that's been supporting me over these past couple years because I wouldn't have what I have if it wasn't for you guys. So thank you to everyone that has tuned in and even watched my videos or even left a hate comment. You know, shout out to literally everyone because I wouldn't have what I have if it wasn't for you guys, for real. Like, I never really get time to stop and process everything I've done at such a young age because I'm just so go, go, go every day. I'm so busy every day. But one day I will. I'm on a good path and I want to keep going. Thank you to everyone that watched this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, and that's been my house tour, and I'll see you guys if I move. <laughs>